Hello everybody, welcome here. Say so we're gonna give you a quick rundown here. It's time for the catch-up video here. Uh, Cloud and I have been doing a lot of work, and we also have a new person on the server. Uh, that's what she said. I say so far we're up to three. Uh, I need to get some hardware upgrades before I can add any more. But uh, I'll show you what we've been up to. Uh, as you can see, I've started some linking books and with Mistcraft. You come on down here, you know, I see we're getting a ton of supplies. I'm going to have to start thinking about creating a new sorting room. And everything here. Uh, got a lot of a lot of stuff that we didn't have before. I also have a new scrapper. Corey is just about to finish up. Farms are taking on some good time. We have an auto bread area, you know, making bread automatically. Wheat. Cacti, I think you guys saw that before. Let's go over here. This is where some new fun stuff has been happening. We've been working on. As you can see, the outside of the base is about ready to get to expand again. We've uh, moved a tunnel over to this side of the mountain where we're going to start digging out the inside of this mountain. And right here we have our automatic tree farm of oak wood. It's all being automated. Solar cells to self-sustain it. Come on down, as you can see, I had a generator start, kicking it up to start. It, it's a nice little automated system. Solar cells power it. And it powers up, comes into here. i got to run this over to the, build, to the main building, but like I said, uh, we're going to start moving a, moving a base over into this land mass, so I'm not really going to move it much until I need to. And before we move over into this hill, we am start cutting it out. Cloud and I came over here with a quarry, let it run automatically in a 10 by 10 square, to this little item down here. This is Matt's little baby here. Uh, I wanted him to build it down here, out of the view, so no one can mess with it. We can make this at the power plant. Ooh, not too far there, Dark, not too far. As you can see, an abandoned mine. But, as you can see, this is Matt's new baby, his nuclear reactor. A uh, bunch of different cells, uranium heat vents. He's still messing with it. Right now, I only had it hooked up to two MFEs to charge. As you see, he's been messing with it long enough to get two MFEs charged. I do have an MFSU for him now. So that should be good for him to build. And go from there. Uh, what else am I doing? Oh yeah, into the nether. Like I said, I've been messing with Mistcraft. As you can see, I have another automatically pulling out stuff. This little item here, this is kind of neat. This is a magma crucible. A guy named by the name of Fish taught me how to use it. Pump into two mimetic engines into the quarry. And then right now, we're just pulling saw, you know, some pyrite dust, which I can make sulfur and iron ore from. A lot of this stuff, since it's powered... You could take the uh, netherrack, turn it into lava. And since there's so much of it, I'm just destroying a good bit of it. You know, no use of making a scrapper here, which I probably should make another scrapper and put it here. And start scrapping all this. But down here, as you can see, my far points, I found a fortress and some blazes. So now I can start building, you know, the items to make steel ignorance and for that I need to create a blast furnace for blast furnace I need to make a coke oven but in order to do that I need to work over on this mountain and that this is the mountain here I want to have to start building and hollowing it out probably going to use a quarry to automatically do it but to do that I want to expand our storage area there at the wall probably all the way over so Got some moves to do next, some new toys to play with. Once I get you know the area cleaned out, that's when we're gonna start doing the uh, blast furnace. Once we get our blast furnace, then I could go there to making drills and drills. I can make a whole bunch of other toys and everything like that. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, send a message. I say, other than that, everybody take care and have a great day. I do gotta clean out this more. I need more room here for our machines. We're sort of cramped. So, alright. Thank you all. I'm your host, Dark Xenonite. Signing off.